how does a Thursday start? Like, is it weird emotionally, like walking into this place? Do you sort of like, are you gazing at people, seeing if they're looking at you funny? Oh yeah, I, the whole day I was like, cause I had a gut feeling when I woke up this morning and I really did. And I think we all have it. Cause I know Skylar said that she had it when she woke up. And I mean, I was looking at everyone. I was like, okay, are they treating me different? Like who's like talking to me weird? And then I, and like, I would take in everything. And Josh was like, you need to calm down. Like, I mean, I was analyzing, like if my name was at the top of a list, I was like, nope, my name's at the top of the list. I'm gone, I'm gone. You know, and people were just like, Holly, you need to calm down. <laughs> so, I mean. But I think that's why I wasn't so like emotional today because I mean, I made top four and I was like emotionally like preparing myself for this. So, you know, I, I just wanted to go out that last moment with like a good note, not like a crying, sobby story, you know? So. When will you cry though? Uh, probably a lot. I cry at like a good birthday card. So, I mean, I'm a really emotional person. And even when Josh was crying, I was like starting to cry. So thank God he left because I would have been like in tears. So yeah, it's it was tough. So the judges really took a lot of time talking to you after the elimination. What were they saying? Uh, they were just saying that they were like proud and they were glad I've come back. I mean, I mean, even, you know, I've just grown so much from last year. And, and Jennifer was right. It like seemed like it was yesterday when I did that audition from last year. and. I don't know, I've just seen so much growth in myself that I'm just, you know, proud to be at the position I am now. Is there something you're gonna take away that someone has told you in this experience that you're gonna apply to, to your future? Uh, I think mostly everything that like Jimmy said and the judges have said, it's just been really good like critiques. And I mean, now I know that there's gonna be people that love you and there's gonna be people that hate you and you just kind of have to just roll with it and you know you can't really think of like music as like oh I want people to love me like you know you just have to be sing just to sing for the love of it and just hope people love it you know. Now last night you were telling me that you were kind of dreading what Jimmy Iovine was gonna say you were like oh he'll say what he's gonna say yeah. so what do you like a punch in the face I was like standing there and I looked at Josh and I was like this is really happening right now <laughs> um, but I mean I don't know, I, I loved my Faithfully performance, I really did, and if I didn't like perform it the way that Jimmy wanted to, you know, I still love that performance, and you know, I'm not going away going, oh, he was right, you know, I should've done this or I should've done that, you know. I just stood there and sung that song just the way I wanted to sing it, and then I Can't Make You Love Me, I, I mean, maybe it wasn't the right song choice for this competition, but that definitely is a song that I love, and it's a beautiful song, and I wish I'd written it, so, you know, I'm glad I got to perform it. So you're gonna go home for like two days, probably. Um, <laughs> no, no. What? Just last thing. What? What are you most looking forward? To? Um, like going home. I think just like seeing, like just laying in my own bed and just seeing my family and seeing Shanks and just relaxing and just you know looking back on this experience and being thankful to have even been in this crazy bubble of American Idol. <laughs>